Broward County's local television network, TSPN. And now TSPN's proud to present Monday with Monique. Welcome to Mondays with Monique. Happy New Year from me and TSPN TV. I'm Monique Grosade, and I have Peter McKenzie from McKenzie Stonehouse Bistro on our show today. I'm really, really excited because he's going to do some cool warm winter salads, um, savory, and a full meal, not just a side salad. But what I wanted to talk about just a little bit is the new addition to your wine list. Uh, we're now featuring Rombauer, mm -hmm. both Chardonnay and Zinfandel by the glass. The Zinfandel uh, actually features Amador grapes, mm -hmm. and the Reserve Rombauer is probably the best in the class. Absolutely. I bet most people don't know that the grapes uh, for this Rombauer Zin come from Amador County. That's why I thought it was really cool and really important to talk about. You bet. So, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Mondays with Monique. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, back to Monday with Monique. Welcome back to Mondays with Monique. We have a great show here. We're going to do some warm winter salads. I'm here with Pete from Pete's uh, McKenzie Stonehouse Bistro in Rancho Marietta. So tell us what you're going to cook. Well, we're having two uh, warm winter salads today. We are featuring a butternut squash uh, and hazelnut salad with some prosciutto and a uh, sautéed shrimp Caesar salad. All right. Well, what's the first step? Well, the first step is you... Take a butternut squash, and this is sometimes difficult for some folks. What you're going to need to do is peel it, and I've started peeling it, and you peel it all the way, you cut it in half, mm -hmm. and then you roast it in the oven at 425 after coating it with a little bit of olive oil, balsamic, mm -hmm. and some salt and pepper, Great. and it turns out just like that. There we go. This is a finished product. About how long and what temp? Uh, 20 minutes at 425. Okay. And it comes out nice and brown and caramelized. Of course, you took the seeds out, right? And um, it looks beautiful. Thank so, you. What shall I do? Well, you're going to cube that, and mm -hmm. we're going to use it uh, a little later in the salad. Okay. One inch or so? Uh, sure. Okay. Sounds good. And what's next? Well, in the meantime, I will uh, saute the hazelnuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love hazelnuts. I don't know why I don't cook with them more, but I really do like them. Would you turn that on for me, please? You got it. Oh, and then just adjust how you like okay. the tip. So we start with a little bit of brown sugar and olive oil, or you can use butter. And we're going to do a quarter cup of chopped hazelnuts, which you can buy at any store. Mm -hmm. Going to caramelize them a little bit and toast them until they're golden brown. Can I use your... Naughty you can use nice. the naughty, okay. yes, it's okay. Um, so is this going to be one of the items you're going to put on the new menu? Yes, we'll, we'll probably feature it as a special, and mm -hmm. if it takes off and we have customers mm -hmm. that show an appreciation for it, then we'll add it to the, the menu uh, full time. Okay. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to see the new additions for the year, and uh, you were talking about possibly breakfast coming soon? Yes, we, uh, we're going to start with weekends. Mm -hmm. We're going to do breakfast on uh, Saturday and Sundays at uh, probably starting at 8 o'clock. And right. we'll serve breakfast all day until we transition into dinner. Mm -hmm. At 11, we'll start adding some uh, lunch items, turkey croissants and spaghetti and meatballs, fish and chips. Oh, sounds good. And, uh, yeah, we're excited about it. It's a new challenge. It seems to be what the community has asked for, mm -hmm. uh, breakfast. Right, right. So. There's not very many options in Rancho Marietta for breakfast. And, you know, it really is about the same. If you're coming from Jackson, it's about the same amount of time to go to Plymouth as it would be to Rancho. Maybe Rancho's five minutes further. But it's um, definitely close. And from own, I think it's only 12 minutes. When I lived in own, it was just a snap and we're there. Sure. Yeah, yeah, very close. Good. Right over the Amador County line. And we have Valentine's Day coming up, which is one of my favorite holidays, um, right next to Christmas. And uh, are you thinking of doing anything special? Yes, we, uh, we're going to have um, uh, provide uh, daycare for mm -hmm. folks with children, Ooh. Uh, uh, possibly a, a limousine service into the Rancho Marietta community mm -hmm. for a pickup and a drop-off. Okay. And uh, we'll have a, a 
preset menu with uh, multiple choices of seafood and meat and some vegetarian dishes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we might even include uh, a dozen roses for the gentlemen that uh, want to package it all in, sure. in uh, one purchase. That's great. The one-stop shopping. And, of I course, like some delicious uh, dessert. Ooh, I can't wait. Well, chances are I'll be helping opposed to simply enjoying. I, we can always have fun the next weekend. I hope you will. Yes, absolutely. All right, I think the hazelnuts are done, so okay. I'm going to take those off and mm -hmm. let those cool. Sounds good. And in the meantime, I'm going to try my uh, Rombauer Reserve Chardonnay. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. That's delicious. That is amazing. Tell us about Rombauer. Uh, well, Rombauer is, uh, you know, they really, their claim to fame is their Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. They also make wonderful reds. Um, and they use a malolactic uh, fermentation process for their Chardonnay. Mm -hmm which gives it the nice butter and the oak and uh, most Chardonnay uh, houses try to mimic Chardonnay or try to mimic Rombauer yeah, that's true. with their butterness and mm -hmm. uh, so why not go with the best that's right that's right what's next okay let's uh, uh, we've got our salad okay you're gonna use um, uh, two to three cups of uh, organic spring mix. Mmm, my favorite. And we're going to add uh, about a tablespoon of chopped uh, scallions. You could also use chives. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to set that aside and okay. we're going to make the dressing. So... Mm. Give me a rundown of what's in the dressing and then I'm, we're going to go to a quick break after that. Okay, great. We're going to start with uh, olive oil. Uh, a little bit of balsamic. We might use some more brown sugar. Mm -hmm. We're going to add in some uh, two ounces of chopped prosciutto. Okay. We'll uh, add the butternut squash in last, and uh, then we'll uh, toss it into the salad, which will wilt it and create mm -hmm. the warm winter salad effect. That sounds fabulous. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with you, and we'll finish up the salad. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, back to Monday with Monique. Making a warm winter salad. Peter McKenzie from Stonehouse Bistro is our chef. And uh, so you're going to start on the dressing? I am. Okay. So you start with uh, two tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to go with a tablespoon of white truffle oil. You could also use uh, hazelnut oil. Mm -hmm. Really fragrant, really beautiful oil. Thank Both you. of them are nice. And one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I love the vinegar because once you cook it, it gives it a slightly sweet taste. And that's, that's just really pleasant. And a little brown sugar. Brown sugar! Uh -huh. Have a little bit left? I do. Okay. Perfect. Just a pinch. Okay. And we're going to add the um, prosciutto. Alrighty. About two ounces. Okay. That gives it a nice mm. little crunchy effect. <coughs> what I like about prosciutto is just a tiny bit of meat. You cook it off and um, it's not real fattening and mm -hmm. it's such a small amount. So you feel like you're getting your protein in the salad, um, as well as all of your greens, and it's healthy. There you go, Chef. All right. Thanks, Chef. So that's it for all the uh, liquids, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add a little bit of the butternut squash back in. Do you want that now? Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. Say when. I'm going to do one more. Now maybe about two cups. You know, it's going to depend on... Is that good? Yep. Perfect. Okay. A bit of a flip. I didn't get you, did I? No, I'm good. All right. So it gives it a really nice color. Okay, and that's done. I might add the uh, hazelnuts back in. Okay. A little extra warmth. And I think we are ready to plate. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so. Feel the heat? Yep, feel okay. the heat. And. We're going to go right into the salad. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks fabulous. Here's a great look. 
And you're right, I can feel the heat coming off it. That's definitely enough to warm the different types of lettuce and make, the, make it wilt just a slight bit so that it's tender. Very beautiful. Okay. So let's give it a little toss. Mm -hmm. And you want to Want to put it on try the Try some? Plate? Sure. Yeah, plate it up. Let's see how pretty it is. And the lettuce will continue to welt or wilt as the salad uh, warms. Mm. You can also add uh, a protein to this, like steak or a salmon or mm -hmm. uh, sautéed pork. Let me borrow those tongues there, okay. please. Yeah, Thank get you. the good stuff on yes. top. Yes, want to show everybody how beautiful <coughs> it is. There we go. Very nice. Nice. Now and that is a beautiful salad. Just a little bit of Parmesan on top. And there you go. And there's your meal. Beautiful. If you're going to add a protein, what would you put on this? Uh, I would probably add uh, either steak or, or salmon. Mm-hmm. So or maybe savory. a little, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a little prosciutto or, or no, um, pancetta in addition to the prosciutto. Mm, that would be good. That would be good. Well, that is absolutely gorgeous. Nice job on that. Thank you. What else do you have cooking? Uh, we also have a uh, shrimp Caesar salad. Okay. That, uh, let's What's start cooking on. cooking good looking. Let's All see right. it. All right. Let's start on the shrimp. Thanks, Chef. You there you go. It's on high. Okay. So you're going to start with a little bit of olive oil. All right. You can also use butter. But shrimp is, uh, you know, so succulent that uh, you really don't need much to saute it. Mm-hmm. And the key to uh, cooking shrimp is, as you know, is to cook it slow, on low heat. Low and slow. Got and it. And that will guarantee that the shrimp stays tender. Well, now, when you were on the show the first time, you made shrimp bruschetta, which was absolutely fabulous and one of my favorite dishes at your restaurant. Oh, thank you. Well, now, I know it's a crime, but I'm going to use a little rum. No, that's to, a good stuff. So I take the shrimp in. So I love the way you cook the shrimp. It's just delicate, um, not overcooked. Shrimp can get chewy and really dry. So when you cook it low and slow like Peter's doing, that just turns out fabulous. And you want it so it's just slightly translucent at the end and nice and pink. That's right. Yeah, very good. Well, you know, we did forget to salt and pepper this to taste. Okay. Can I use the rooster pepper milk? Go ahead. Use that chicken. Oh, is it the chicken? <laughs> so it's a little masculine. Salt and right. pepper on salad, I think, is super important. It just brings out the flavor of the dressing. It brings out the flavor of all the mixed items in there. And people forget to do that. Most people don't salt and pepper it, and they're missing out on something really great. We're going to need to. This is uh, hearts of romaine. Okay. From our neighborhood, Rayleigh's. You know, what I learned from you, too, Pete, is that you do lemon pepper on your salads. Um, once the salad's created, you s just uh, shake a little lemon pepper on top. That's and true. what a difference that makes. That makes all the difference in the flavor. Also, adding the scallions that you added to the uh, butternut squash salad, just that little bit of scallion just heightens the flavor of the entire dish because, you know, you're, you're eating your salad and it tastes great and you're experiencing the different types of lettuces and then all of a sudden you get just a little green onion in there and you go, oh, and you can taste those small things. They mean a lot in a salad because salad can be bland if you don't spice it up. So I'm going to pull the shrimp because it's mm -hmm. going to keep cooking okay. even though we're off the fire. And I need a salad bowl. Okay, do you want a big or a little? I think we can use this okay. to work. That's legal. We can do that. How much more salad do you want? Uh, that's probably perfect. Okay. Bring it over. Okay. Any more than that? Oh. Got a few little loose ends here. Since you did the work. What the heck? Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to add a little uh, Parmesan. Mm-hmm. A little salt. A little chicken mm. pepper. Oh, mine. And uh, we also have some uh, crostinis that I made. This is... Uh, a heart healthy uh, whole grain bread mm. and uh, why don't you chop up a couple of sure. these for the croutons you got it how'd you make the crostinis uh, i used a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. a little bit of goat cheese and a little bit of parmesan Ooh. but you can do it with almost anything with herbs should you do it in the pan or in the <coughs> oven i did it in the oven okay 
How and, long? Oh, I toasted it for uh, just a few moments until the bread firms up. Mm -hmm. And you can always finish it under the broiler. Okay. And this is our house-made uh, Caesar salad from the bistro. Love that dressing. Holy cow. You have got the secret on that for sure. Let me know when you're ready. Well, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, perfect. And uh, a few more in there. Let's add the shrimp. I'm a big salad person. I love healthy food. Um, and, of course, your greens are part of that health that you get out of salad. But I'm not just a plain salad gal. You know, lettuce, tomato, onion, and butter, lettuce, or any kind of lettuce is a little boring for me. And I like some sort of protein in it because then I feel like it's a complete meal. Sure. You know, the nuts and the pancetta in the first salad, the shrimp in this salad. It just kind of, uh, it makes it a meal instead of a side dish for me. Uh, so, yeah, the key with the warm uh, winter salads is to make sure that when you add the protein, mm -hmm. you're adding it in when it's warm. It gives it a chance to wilt the lettuce. Okay. So, you want to plate this? I would love to. I'll hold the bowl. All right. Do something useful here. <laughs> make sure we get the good stuff on top Absolutely. this time. Oh, the shrimp are done to perfection. Look at that. Nice work. Thank you. Maybe a couple of... Yeah, croutons, please. Croutons. Beautiful. And one more. Come here. He is avoiding... I know. <laughs> it's and like the turkey at Thanksgiving. I Run. Know. There you go. <laughs> Maybe a little more salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Now look at that. That is gorgeous. Presentation means a lot, as you know. Um, just to have the shrimp on the top, that little tiny garnish of pepper. You know all about it because you're serving people sure. day in and day out. And uh, a lot of the enjoyment of food is the visual part of it. Mm -hmm. So be sure to garnish it really nicely. Well, what else we have going on? I know you have a great kids menu and so many people obviously go out to dinner with their children. What types of things do you make? Well, you know, we have the old uh, corn dog staple, mm -hmm. with or without mustard. Uh, we do lots of different pastas for the children. Uh, try to leave it as plain as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, pasta with butter and Parmesan. We have uh, spaghetti and meatballs with one meatball. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a coloring contest for every child that uh, comes in and we submit their entry to a judge of panels in the kitchen. <laughs> we judge it that night. They usually always win. Everybody's a winner. Uh, some of the kids are on to us. So, uh, well, then that means bring your kids in. When you go to a nice restaurant, most of the time there's not kid-friendly food. You have it. You've got this one down. And, um, and I just love that. And then you have some really great desserts, too. We do. We have uh, uh, cheesecake, uh, one that you recently made, which was phenomenal. I did a holiday cheesecake with peppermint. Incredible. That was good. Thank you. Uh, we have a lemon crunch bunt cake with uh, vanilla ice cream and fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have apple pie a la mode. We have a chocolate decadence cake mm -hmm. and uh, a few others that we do as specials from... Uh, week to week. Yeah, wonderful. Well, we're going to try this delicious food when we come back. We're going to go to a quick break, but stay tuned. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, back to Monday with Monique. Mondays with Monique. Well, this has been just the coolest show for me because my dear friend Peter here Mwah. is um, my guest and he's a big part of our family. And so we were just talking, you know, when we went to commercial break here. And my daughter Morgan, who's just the neatest gal, I love that kid, and she's just a nice girl. She just recently got accepted to Stanford University, which, you know, I don't even know how difficult I can describe the ability to accept it into that university. It's just a real tough one. You know, even the smartest, smartest, smartest kids still don't get accepted. Um, so we've been really blessed with that. Yeah, big year for her. Miss Amador County, mm -hmm. Girls State, and yeah. now Stanford. Now Stanford, yeah, that's well, right. She's certainly deserving. She's uh, the full package. Uh, brains, beauty, sweetness. Oh, she's a good girl. She, good heart, good Christian girl. Yeah, she's got a, a bright future. Of her. I know. I'm so excited. Uh, you, you've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. So let's check it out. Which one should we try first? Well, it's up to you. Okay. Close this first. All right. Got it? Yes, of course. 
Okay, I'll go with the shrimp here. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's done to perfection. That's what it's all about. Mmm. Is the way you cook the shrimp. If you overcook it, you just lose the flavor. This mm -hmm. is delicious. Mmm. Okay, and I and the dressing is killer. Mmm. Killer dressing. Mmm. Mmm. Coming in. You mm, first. Mmm. Mm. Okay, and this is the butternut squash warm salad with mm -hmm. hazelnut. And prosciutto. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Some squash. Is it legal to eat out of the bowl? <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Nice work. Oh the dressing God. was really mm. light, but very delicious. Perfect for it. This is the first time I've made that. Mm. Mm. Well, you Incredible. did a fabulous job. Thank you. And mm. I love it. Cheers. It's so pretty. Cheers. To Stanford. All right. Stay tuned next time for Mondays with Monique. And thanks so much for watching TSPN. Thank you. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now back to Monday with Monique.